Hi all, hope you are all are doing good. From today onwards, we are going to see a lecture series on the subject Design and Analysis of Algorithm. Please note down the course code. Does 19 ITB to not 1 B represents Blender, so it is a blended course. So first unit is Introduction to Algorithms. The next topic in DA is Asymptotic Notation and its properties asymptotic means a line tends to to converge to a curve which may or may not eventually touch the curve it is a line that says within bounds time and space complexity is measured in terms of asymptotic notations asymptotic notation can describe the time and space complexity accurately for larger instance characteristics for a given algorithm Asymptotic notation will provide upper or lower time and space bounds. Upper bound gives the maximum time or space required and the lower bound gives the maximum time or space required. It is a tool for analyzing time and space usage of algorithms. Assumes input size is a variable say n and gives time and space bounds as a function of n. It provides a simple characterization of n algorithm efficiency it ignores multiplicative and additive constants it compares the growth rates of two expressions of running time it is concerned only with the rate of growth so we are going to see about three notations here big o notation which defines the worst case efficiency big omega notation which defines the best case efficiency big theta notation which defines the average case efficiency so what is worst case efficiency means it is defined as the maximum number of steps taken on any instant of signs size n so what is best case efficiency means it is defined as the minimum number of steps taken on any instance of size n so what do you mean by average case efficiency is it is defined as the average number of steps taken on any instance of size n so big o notation so big o notation represents the worst case efficiency so big o notation represents the upper bound of the running time of an algorithm the formula of big o notation is given as below big o of g of n is equal to f of n there exists positive constants c and n naught such that 0 is less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c g of n for all n greater than or equal to n naught so for f of n belongs to big o of g of n so now this above line represents the c of g of n and the below line represents the f of n so this line the point where joins is called n naught so this is an example for the big o notation when n differs for example when n increases from 1 to 23 the function f of n is given by 100n plus 300 and g of n is equal to 6n square when n increases the f of n increases as per the formula and the g of n also increases as per the formula so this is the graph for the above given formulas f of n is equal to 100n plus 300 g of n is equal to n square so next one is big omega notation which defines the best case efficiency it define it represents the lower bound of the running time of the algorithm theta of g of n is equal to f of n there exists positive constant c and n naught such that 0 less than or equal to c g of n less than or equal to f of n for all n greater than or equal to n naught so this line represents the f of n and this line represents the c of g of n 
so big theta notation which defines the average case efficiency and it encloses the function from above and below upper and lower bound of the running time of an algorithm so theta of g of n is given by f of n there exists positive constant c1 c0 c2 and n0 such that 0 less than or equal to c1 g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 of g of n for all n greater than or equal to n0